So economic crisis, biological crisis, pandemic, and the world is going into a recession. We don't know if it lasts for long or it lasts for a limited period of time. One trend is happening today, which is called supply chain disruption. All right, so welcome back. I've taken several notes uh, because I want to go fast, but at the same time, I want to give you some uh, um, some uh, good insights uh, to focus about. So in 2011, if you remember, in Japan, we had the tsunami and we had the problem with uh, Fukushima. And the, the nuclear plant uh, basically uh, had the big problem and in the entire territory near that uh, plant uh, had to be evacuated and uh, basically a lot of companies uh, could not operate as a result a number of other companies around the world that were receiving materials and uh, um, middle pieces in their supply chain um, basically could not produce because of what's happening today um, we are in the process of a supply chain uh, disruption. In addition, what's happening today is that the Western country, in my opinion, Western countries are realizing that they made a risky bet, basically by delocalizing their production so that the only factor is the lowering of the cost, they're taking on a risk. So a risk of becoming dependent on strategic sectors on the part of one single country and one single supplier basically. So I forecast that this situation will change and it was actually it was partially changing. In fact Germany that is one of the biggest uh, former manufacturing or, or manufacturing con countries in Europe was already trying to get some of the production back to Germany by uh, utilizing automation more and um, uh, if you think of it uh, with all the political problems with the current president and, and the, 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 the war between USA and China on the commerce side uh, was already indicating that a lot of countries um, are in the West world were starting to think differently. So I think strategically governments will mandate the various companies to not be dependent uh, from uh, China this much and I think they will put in place regulations similar to what has been put in place with the banks so some kind of a stress test they had to pass some kind of stress test and therefore they cannot supply all their materials from China or one single country and I even speculate that they will want to have some reservers in the in the country where they operate so in order to do this uh, the cost of course technically should increase but here is where I think worldwide there's going to be an investment in the following sectors so AI will be utilized to do more planning more supply chain planning uh, risk analysis and uh, more if you like data digging and so it's going to be utilized a lot in terms of uh, improving processes within the organizations particularly what type of processes and on the one end, I think logistics, uh, automation will have uh, even a further push. And, and the areas where AI will play a role, of course, is self-driving. Um, self-driving is not going to be only just um, self-driving of uh, big trucks, but it's going to be also things like last mile delivery. And even more, even less common, if you like, it's going to be things like transportation within plants so the internal part of the of the operations that sometimes happens between various um, players of the uh, of the supply chain that will be automated and why is that because that will make processes more reproducible the true gout higher so basically the machines can operate for much longer than human driving and uh, costs will go down so the, the companies will try to offset costs that uh, from uh, not sourcing any more ch cheap labor in China with more automation in the West. And then I also thought that the other place where certainly there's going to be a push is the, is the field of AI applied to robotics for manufacturing. So I think we will see more push than before in manufacturing and automation and parts of the manufacturing will come back to the West. 
Finally, something that is not immediately uh, trivial to understand is there's gonna be even more investments in artificial intelligence and marketing. Why is this? Because in a situation where we'll have uh, the cost of the product going up, there's gonna be less opportunity to waste marketing money. And, and, and in order to balance the risk, companies will want to find ways to keep their customer closer, especially in the, in the consumer space and, and increase what's called the lifetime value of the customer. So in that, we will see more and more deployment of marketing technologies that are designed to follow the customer from beginning to end, to know much more about the customer and uh, basically target the customer in a way that is extremely personalized. I forecast there's gonna be lots of investment in this area. So all o overall, what this crisis I think will bring is an acceleration of artificial intelligence, maybe not immediately because right now this can be a crisis, but in, in the aftermath, there's gonna be a lot of investments that are gonna go even more towards automation. So that's why I believe this is the time to get educated in artificial intelligence. You know that I have this course on uh, artificial intelligence basically for those who are product managers, for those who are managers of technology, for those who basically are in charge of creating business value through artificial intelligence. I have something new today and basically we are offering for free evaluations of your situation. So basically what are your goals, what are the problems you're trying to solve and what we do is when you go on my site and, and, you, fall, uh, and you fill up um, a questionnaire what we do is within 48 hours we're gonna respond to you with uh, an analysis of your situation. We'll tell you what part if all of the problems our course solves and what are the things you should do, what, are, what is the knowledge that you need to solve the problems that you have. So take advantage of this offer, we're gonna have it right now and I look forward to seeing you at the next video. Thank you.